Hello everyone, and in this video I'll be taking another look at the Pluto TV app on my Chromebook. We did have a look at Pluto TV yesterday on my Galaxy Tab A, but we found a few issues which I will address later in the video, and because of those issues I'll be having another look at it on my Chromebook, since you're probably more likely to watch TV on a Chromebook than a tablet or if you do watch TV on the Chromebook it might be more comfortable than holding a tablet in your hand since the Chromebook is resting on your lap and the bigger screen that Chromebooks have to offer as opposed to tablets or depending on your desire so we'll be having a look at Pluto TV again now before we continue subscribe to my channel and like our page in the description which is called tech alert but again i'll provide the link in the description below so let us get started now i think the pluto tv app the pluto tv channel can be off can often be seen in the my of demand 5 oh what an advert to start the video <laughs> okay all right then sorry about that but that is that all right now one of the things we look for when we test apps on chromebooks particularly a 14 inch Chromebook like this is whether the app interface uses the whole screen. And I don't think this does, you know. Oh, here we go. It doesn't use the full screen. Which, again, is quite glaring because, again, you'd want to be able to watch TV in full screen. But who knows? It might pop up full screen automatically when we put a station on. So I'm not going to have a go at pressing the full screen button on the Chromebook just yet. Because if you are a Chromebook user, you'd know that Chromebooks have a dedicated full screen button. And usually, when we account those situations, we hit the button right away. However, some apps that don't use full screen, keep in mind that that full screen button might not always work and this is not necessarily a Chromebook thing, it's more the app limitations side of things. So again, I don't know why that can't be addressed, but you know, that is the way it is. Now you've got 102 and you've got those numbers and what we concluded yesterday from having a look at this is if you want to watch this station on your TV for example that is the number you press on your remote but again it would be nice if you left that out because not many people might come to such conclusions and it can be a little bit bothersome for screen reader users. And again, I'm not too sure whether you heard the screen record over, the, over that noise, but again, if you're scrolling through channels, it can be quite annoying. The reason why I wanted to have a look at this app on the Chromebook was when you are watching or using the app on your tablet, sometimes people might have the orientation lock on due to the fact that they might hold their tablet in different angles. And the orientation lock, if not enabled, will mean that the tablet's screen rotation will succumb to the angles and go in different portrait positions or landscape positions. And again, some apps, including the Pluto TV, override the orientation lock. 
and act as if the lock weren't on. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to hold my Chromebook at different angles. <laughs> and I never ever knew this but my Chromebook probably has a s orientation sensor as I am rotating my Chromebook you can probably see that the app is changing view and I didn't even know that this Chromebook had a rotator uh, screen f feature on it because it's a little bit silly since you will be using the Chromebook on your lap and this is not a flip Chromebook by the way this is Asus C425TA or 23TA and it is not a flip Chromebook and again it's probably on the Chromebook side of things why would you want to rotate a Chromebook with a big keyboard sticking out but again what is that you got that um, privacy thing and again that can probably fool people in thinking that this has a web interface to it. Let us press the full screen button because I'm getting a little bit fed up of this partial thing. And it still doesn't go full screen when you press the full screen button. So I'm not too sure. One thing that we did discover was there is an on demand section so you can watch movies without ads we're gonna watch mandy and the secret tunnel now the mandy and the secret tunnel when you click on mandy and the secret tunnel it doesn't really implement what you desire instead you have to click on the watch button and that can be really annoying now the Pluto TV is on full screen now but when you have this screen reader enabled it just keeps saying Mandy and the secret tunnel all the time I'm not too sure whether there is a full screen button Watch from beginning. Back you select exit selected. Close exit full screen. Yeah, it's already in full screen by default. But I don't know why it keeps on saying the movie that you're watching. Which is really annoying. It's not saying it now. Well it did do. It looks like an interesting movie by the way, so if you want to watch it then feel free. In conclusion, the Pluto TV app is neither easy to use on Chromebook and tablet for a number of reasons. You have that rotating uh, problem which you have on your tablet and again if you hold your Chromebook at different angles the Chromebook's rotating sensor which you know sort of decides what way your screen should be facing and what how items should be presented on the screen again that sort of tells the app to present things differently according to how you hold your Chromebook and again I don't know why this Chromebook has such a thing since it is not a flip Chromebook 
and since it is not a tablet so again it's a bit of a glaring problem for the Chromebook let alone the app so again just be aware of that but the app when used on the Chromebook doesn't use the full screen unless you're playing a video and again it would be nice if you had a nice navigation area to you know to navigate in and overall I recommend that you in that you watch the Pluto TV website should there be a website I'm not too sure okay well I hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching stay tuned for videos to come and we'll see you soon